Energy and love to the universal family. It's the God of Saw Amon Ra. Cosmic salute. Man, now I'm, I'm in the building, man. I'm taking a little pause on the journey to consciousness build. Because I seen something going on in the the uh, so-called conscious community that I got to speak up on. You know, I, I got to, you know, add on or whatever to this, you know. And it's uh, the Sarasu Seti and Young Pharaoh versus Sarnetta in the HOK. Man, I seen this coming, man. I seen it coming. Not necessarily for this debate, but I knew at some point Young Pharaoh was going to turn on Sarnetta. You know, it's just like... Uh, Normally, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to other people's business, you know, business endeavors or, you know, when people come together, you know, business is best kept between those who's doing the business, you know. But uh, in this situation, I mean, it's, it's a pretty much a public matter, you know what I'm saying? All of this has played out on YouTube. If you have been keeping up, uh, it's been a heavy promotion for this debate for the last three or four months and um the day got called off then it was back on and now it's back off again but it's like yeah man i seen this coming you know what i'm saying at some point and uh and it's just ugly man that we can't come together and do nothing man it's always bickering about this that or the the other you know what i'm saying and in most cases, money is the issue. You know what I'm saying? Now, I uh, I watched all of the little videos that... Uh, I watched some of the videos. I, asked, I watched uh, Sarah Sunseti's initial response, and I watched uh, some of Sarnetta's response. Then I watched Young Pharaoh's response. And... Um, I mean, it's just a sad situation, you know. It's like, why would uh, why would you wait three days before the the debate to try to figure all this shit out when y'all been promoting the debate for three months, three four months? Young Pharaoh was the one that came up with this debate. He presented the debate to Sarnetta, and Sarnetta pretty much backed him. You know what I'm saying? And so this should have been a time when all of this contractual shit should have been negotiated. You don't wait two or three days before the event to negotiate your contract. That is some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I don't take sides. I don't choose sides. You know, I deal with positive and negative energy. You know what I'm saying? And that's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, if... Sarasu Seti and Young Pharaoh was throwing the event, then they can make all these stipulations and all of this extra shit, you know what I'm saying? Which you know, only a man knows how much he's worth. But at the end of the day, this is not a solo fucking lecture that you're going to go do by yourself. So you can't expect the same amount, you know what I'm saying? And then it's like, I seen that young Pharaoh, he wanted uh money off the YouTube videos. He wanted money from the DVD sales. I mean, it got real meticulous, man. And, you know, it just got real ugly. You know what I mean? And Sinetta, he's pretty much, his standpoint from his view, he's throwing the event. So he pretty much, he makes the contracts and he sets the stipulations. And uh, that's pretty much how business goes, you know what I'm saying? You know, the promoter, he gets everything together. He does all the promotion, marketing. And there, so he, I mean, he's going to get pretty much the most of the uh, profit, you know what I'm saying? Because he's the one putting most of the money in. You know, they're saying that a polite was uh helping throw the event, Unc was helping throw the event. All I could just go off of of what 
you know, was being presented to the public. And uh, Sarnetta said he was pretty much doing the shit by himself. So if that's the case, then uh, uh, Sarasun Seti and Young Pharaoh was going off a of false premise anyway. They they basically, they counting Sarnetta pockets. That's all they're doing. They're trying to count Sarnetta pockets. And, uh, man, it, it done got out of hand. The gloves is off. Everybody's, you know, motherfuckers calling each other bitch motherfuckers and bitch ass niggas and suck dicks and do all this shit. You know, this shit is just crazy. You know what I'm saying? The shit is crazy. But, uh, yeah, going back to the, uh, the point that I was making about, I was seeing, I knew the young Pharaoh at some point was going to turn on Sinetta. You know, like young Pharaoh, you know what I'm saying? He's a very, very intelligent young brother. You know what I'm saying? He, uh, you know, he brings a lot of good information. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people call some of his information pseudo, which, you know, perception is reality. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, he he just comes with so much negative energy, man. You know how he cusses people out, makes death threats online, and does all this shit on the internet. It's like, but then he says he's such a real dude. You know what I'm saying? And it's like he brings this penitentiary type of energy to this conscious community, which Young Pharaoh is not the first person that has been locked up or has been in the penitentiary that's a part of the conscious community. You know, for for one, I did time. You know what I'm saying? I did time. Not in jail. Not in no fucking county jails or no city jails. I did time in prison. You know what I'm saying? I had a five-year sentence. You know, so, you know, just because you have a background of, you know, you might be an ex-convict or ex-felon, you know, you don't have to uh, bring that energy with you when you come into this conscious community. You know what I'm saying? The consciousness... When we dealing with consciousness, that's uh pretty much, you know, you you supposed to shed all your old habits, man. You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to try to hold on to your old bad habits, you know what I'm saying? Now the good ones, you know, you could bring them with you, but your bad habits, man, you wanna leave them at the door. You know? And uh yeah, that penitentiary attitude that he's came with, man, is really brought a black cloud over the conscious community, you know, it's, uh, been very divisiveness, or it's been very divisive, and, um, you know, it's just been a lot of turmoil in the conscious community since young Pharaoh has entered, now, will I say that young Pharaoh has been wrong in every situation, or every issue that has happened surrounding him, no, 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 the brother, I have nothing against the brother, man. But uh, like I say, I deal with positive and negative energy, you know what I'm saying? Positive energy and negative energy, that's what I deal with, you know what I'm saying? So when somebody is coming with negative energy, I automatically, I tune that shit out, you know what I'm saying? I pretty much, you know, I can't coexist with that, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, I've seen that the brother came with a lot of negative energy, and then Sarah Sutton said he took him under his wing, and instead of trying to, you know, give him the good fundamental uh, tools that he needs, he's pretty much co-signing all of his bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And as a OG or a general, you know, that's that's not the move, man. You gotta um, lead by example, man. And um, Sara soon said he's pretty much condoning all the bullshit. And, you know, it's almost like he's using Pharaoh as a lifeline. Because it's like Seti has been going around the country, as he said, for the past 10 years. So it's like he's pretty much done every lecture that he could do or he's presented all the information where he could present. So now he needs a lifeline. And who better than somebody that's coming with a whole different ideology, uh, some of which have been brought to the community, and some some things are pretty new to the community, what Pharaoh has uh, have brought, you know what I'm saying, as far as information-wise. 
So who better to latch on to? And that's what it uh, appears that Sarah Soon Sadie is doing. In the same way how Polite was Sinetta's cash cow at one point. Right now, Pharaoh is Sadie's cash cow. So it's pretty much he's co-signing everything with Pharaoh do. And he don't want to teach him, you know, right or wrong and all that. You know what I'm saying? And as a man that's been on this planet longer... You know, of course, you're going to have more experience on how to move and how not to move. So, uh, yeah, man, it's just a sad it's a sad thing to see that go on like that, you know. And, um, yeah, man, I just pretty much wanted to add on with that. And um, a lot of times when I do these videos, well, all my videos, I freestyle. I go off the top. I want it to be straight from my spirit to you guys, you know what I'm saying, and uh, you know, a lot of times I forget certain shit, what I wanted to touch on, or, you know, uh, you know, I got them just go off the top, you know what I mean, so, yeah, man, for the most part, that's pretty much all I wanted to touch on with this, but I will say this, if Young Pharaoh is so quick to turn on Sinetta like that, said he better watch his head too, cause he he he's next. He you know, Pharaoh gonna turn on him too, man. You know, loyalty is a lifestyle. And um, uh, you know, when you see them certain characteristics or them certain attributes that people possess, you know, you gotta be able to um, you know, see that shit a mile away, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh. Yeah, man, Pharaoh is out of line, man. It seemed like since he's uh gained a big following and been doing this tour in around the country, it's like the brother head is so big that you can't even talk to him. You know what I'm saying? I reached out to him one time uh where I was uh I wanted him to clarify. I was I was wondering why did he use the word spirit instead of energy? And the brother, the brother never, you know what I'm saying, responded back. I mean, it was like, you know, that's just really, it was a, really, I really wanted to know that. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like I was being sarcastic or anything when I asked the question. And so just from that experience right there showed me that he's not, you know what I'm saying, interacting with the people or in touch with the people as much as he probably should be or could be, you know what I'm saying, as a teacher or a so-called leader in this community, you know what I'm saying, so, yeah, man, it's just, uh, it's a sad thing, man, and this shit is like reality TV at its finest, man, you know, and it's very entertaining, I must say. But, uh, you know, my heart just goes out to all the people that paid for the event and really wanted to see the event, see the debate. Me, personally, I feel like it's a lot stronger issues that need to be dealt with, even though the metal netter is uh, an important issue. But I just feel like where we're at as a people right now, it's a lot of important topics that need to be touched on. You know, and um, yeah, man, that's pretty much it, man. I ain't going to go too long on this topic. You know, I just wanted to add on, you know, and uh, yeah, man, that's that's what it is, man. I say, excuse me, I say peace and love to the universal mm -hmm. family, cosmic salute, and um. Yeah, don't forget to don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Definitely hit that subscribe button. Hit the uh bell next to the subscribe button. You know, so you can get them notifications whenever I go up and all that. But um besides that, man, peace, man. And be looking out for my uh fourth phase on your journey to consciousness. Be looking out for that video, because that will be coming soon. And uh yeah, energy and love, cosmic salute.